Welcome to Lifestyles of the Strange and Exotic. <laughs> Random book review is I think something flew across my face here. Now this I got from my library through the Over Overdrive app, which is like the digital library. And I got it tonight, finished it tonight. So I did this in one evening. And it's History Decoded, The Ten Greatest Conspiracies of All Time by Brad Meltzer with Keith Farrell. And I recognized the name. Now, if anybody's seen the History Channel when they actually had stuff about history on the History Channel, the show is called Decoded. And I've seen a few episodes, and I, it, it's... <clears throat> I liked Meltzer here. I liked how he was sort of a no-nonsense guy, but he was enthusiastic. He just was a unique personality, and that kind of came across in the show. Well, he reads exactly the same way as you see him in the show. So, it's, you know, you can kind of easily vis visualize an episode as you're going through these. And I think most, if not all, of these things on the list were actual shows. A uh, few definitely. Um... So this was a quick read, but it was an interesting read. Even if you've never seen the show, uh, it kind of has Brad's sort of like the mastermind, and then he has three individuals that kind of do the footwork for him, and they go <coughs> through different conspiracies, myths, things about history, and they try to uncover the you know fact like Roswell and who killed JFK, that type of thing. And, let's see, hmm. okay, uh, you have <coughs> Confederate gold, stolen treasure, or hidden wealth of new confederacy, uh, the Georgia Guidestones, which I'd never heard about, which really, really seems interesting, is something I'd like to see, D.B. Cooper, which I think is um, an episode I've seen, uh, where's the cornerstone to the White House? Uh, the Spear of Destiny, I've seen different things on. Uh, is there any gold in Fort Knox was my favorite. So, <laughs> I'll let you read this to find that out. Uh, so, you know, there's, this one is particular different myths. And it's a really interesting read. The same way the show is really interesting. They put facts on the table. Sort of both for and against. Okay, here's this conspiracy. Here's this myth. This is what everybody knows, but here are the little tidbits you don't know. So, you know, some of these things were really kind of interesting. Especially the Fort Knox one, you were like, well, damn, that really is kind of interesting. <laughs> in, in some ways, there, there's pictures of different documents that they kind of put forward as like evidence A, evidence B on the Kindle kind of hard to read. So if you're doing it digitally, probably best viewed on maybe a computer, unless you have like a super friggin' new tablet or something like that, or at least use the information. Maybe you can find that particular picture that goes with that particular myth in a format that's, you know, easier to read. So that was, that was my only problem with the book was like, really, really hard to see. Let's see if I can kind of give you an example. Let's see. I don't help. <laughs> well, it kind of gives you an example, but it's kind of lit more in the back. But that's kind of the, the pictures they give you, and you're kind of like... Mm? <laughs> so yeah, not quite the best for the photographs on the Kindle, which kind of goes without saying. But at least the stories are like... You can easily picture these people doing these things, you know, going out and discovering all these different little tidbits of, you know, sort of obscure history. I don't know if the show's on anymore. I don't think it is. Which is kind of sad. It was really, really kind of interesting. It's the thing about the Kindle, it's very awkward to find anything. So, he has other actual novels. I don't know if he's kind of more like a um, Dan Brown, that type of mystery thriller type of thing. I don't know.
But this book was a quick read because it was so... It's very casually written. He kind of goes... He writes words like y'all and, you know, kind of how you would speak to a person. It's not like written out in fancy letters. So it's something you could easily kind of get into because it is casually written. And... But it's intelligent, too. It's not just, here are the facts and, you know, whatever. They're, they're put in a way that is really intriguing. It makes you do kind of like, hmm. And definitely, if you're interested in these type of things, you know, it's a good, you know, it gets you to start answering the questions and helps you to discover kind of your own conclusions and maybe research for yourself, which is really neat about certain books like, like that. It makes you want to go forward and not just take this one person's word. <laughs> so, a definite thumbs up. For me, at least, it was a very quick read. I finished it in an evening. And it is History Decoded, The Ten Greatest Conspiracies of All Time by Brad Meltzer. And again, I got this through my library, so I'm sure you can find these... Well, the way it works in the, the Overlook or Overdrive app, you borrow from Amazon, actually. So, if you can borrow from Amazon, you can probably buy these books on Amazon. So, definitely check that out. Very good, very entertaining, quick read. They must... They must get. So, thank you for watching. Do remember to comment, rate, share, and subscribe. There's always room for one more at the Strange and Exotic. See you next time. Bye. Happy reading.